Hot and humid, that's the theme of this 4th of July, but even that didn't stop thousands of people from participating in some patriotic traditions. WKBN 27 First News reporter Nadine Grimley has that story tonight. For some, watching the Newton Falls Parade on the 4th is a family tradition. It's just one of those things we don't miss. And despite a heat advisory, thousands of people lined the streets. I'd say about 500 degrees to me. It wasn't quite that hot. Temperatures only made it to the low 90s. But with the heat index, it felt closer to 100. Well, I think we could fry an egg on our heads. Don't you think so? And because it was so hot, people were getting creative to stay out of the sun, sitting under pop-up tents and holding umbrellas, all to try to create some shade. So we won't be burning hot. Even the fire department hosed the crowd down to keep them cool. I had a bottle of water and then gave the rest of it to my daughter because she's really hot too. Her face is <laughs> really red. These 4th of July festivities have been around for decades and wraps up with a huge fireworks display, one that comes with a more than $20,000 price tag all paid for by donations. As long as people keep wanting the fireworks and keep contributing and donating, we're going to be out here working as hard as we can to make it happen. In Newton Falls, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.